What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angel in the Outfield. This is going to be episode number 10. We're already in double digits. It's moving so fast. Feels like I just started it. But before we jump into anything about the actual episode, I do want to let you know one thing. I am going to be playing this game on my no money spent account. Uh, I just made World Series on my main account and, you know, playing on my main account when I'm in the World Series on this team is, you know, it's going to be kind of tough. So I figured I might as well have some fun and start working on my World Series push on my No Money Spent account. So I'm going to be playing with the team on this account. It's the same team, same players, same cards, no changes other than the upgrades we'll be making, of course. Um, so yeah, it's just a different account. But anyway, we finished the last video with two upgrades. We won the game. We scored six or more runs. Unfortunately, Mike Trout probably had his worst game yet. 0 for 5. Just overall not a good performance for Mike Trout. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what we can do to fix it at this point. We kind of just have to hope that he gets lucky. I can move him up or down in the lineup all I want. But if he doesn't hit, he doesn't hit. And right now, he cannot hit anything. But since we have the two upgrades, let's take a look at what the like goal for the last video was. It was sitting at 3,400, and once again, you guys got it. You got up to like 3,900, so we're 9 for 9 on like goals. You guys are killing it. Thank you so much. If you would like another upgrade for the next video, the like goal on this is going to be at 3,500. 3,500 likes gets us another upgrade. All right, so now that we have three upgrades, let's go ahead and take a look at the comments from the last video and see who who you guys want added to the team. So the top comment came from Milo Ward. He said Felipe Vasquez, Oliver Perez, and Gold D. Gordon if you have him. Another top comment came from Wrigley Bates, who I'm pretty sure has gotten top comments in back-to-back -back weeks. He said get Felipe Vasquez for the bullpen and tops now Steven Matz and for the like a goal get Michael Brantley. So since both of those top comments wanted to see Felipe Vasquez, obviously we gotta throw in Felipe Vasquez and this is going to be a very nice lefty to have in the bullpen 84 overall he's got four pitches a four seam a change up a curveball and a slider so a pretty basic pitch selection but he's got 85 hits per nine 98 k's per nine 71 walks per nine 94 velo with 94 break so overall he's gonna have like i said a pretty basic pitch selection with the per nines and the velo and the break he's gonna be pretty effective in the rotation we've got 84 overall steven Matz from the new york mets he is another lefty sinker change up curveball slider so the sinker as his primary is going to be pretty good. 76, 67 on the hits and case per nine is a little bit low, but you take a look at the control and the walks per nine, 76, 87 with the 92 velo and 90 break. If you're able to locate with this card, you might be able to do pretty good despite the lower hits per nine. And the only change we made offensively is going to be D Gordon, the 84 overall. Honestly, one of the better gold cards in the entire game. He's going to be playing second base for us, so Scooter Jeanette is going to go to the bench. 98, 109 contact, low power, but you know, D Gordon sometimes has some sneaky pop. 84 vision, 85 fielding, 95 speed, 95 uh, stealing. D Gordon is the man. So those are the three upgrades. Like I said, D Gordon going to be playing second base. We moved uh, Scooter Jeanette over to the bench. In the starting rotation, Steven Matz replaced Caleb Smith and Felipe Vazquez replaced that 78 overall Billy Wagner. We still have Chris Sale and Araldis Chapman as our two other lefties. Um, one thing about Mike Trout, I told you guys I was going to move him to the eighth spot in the batting order and I did just that. Mike Trout will be batting eighth for me. Uh, I got to try to just change up whatever I can to get him going. I thought about possibly doing this, putting the pitcher at eight and then Mike Trout at nine to kind of have him be like a early leadoff hitter sort of thing. Um, but at the end of the day, I think Mike Trout batting eight would probably be a little bit more beneficial because people might be more inclined to walk Trout in certain situations just so they could get to the pitcher spot in the order and, you know, that would get Mike Trout on base. So that's kind of the mindset I'm going with right there. Now let's take a look at the stats. Remember, if you guys want to check out the Angel in the Outfield stats for yourself, the link is in the top of the description. These are updated the day after the video goes live to avoid spoilers. So the stats for this video will be updated on Friday morning. So if we take a look at what Mike Trout is doing currently, he's hitting 081. Three hits in 37 at-bats that 0 for 5 killed his batting average. He still has six walks to make his on-base 
over 200, which still isn't good, but it is what it is. Um, Pedro Alvarez has a 412 average, a 1176 slugging, and a 1588 OPS. He is leading the team in all three of those categories. In order to lead the team, by the way, you have to be in the starting lineup and you have to have at least 10 or more plate appearances. So that's why I have him as the team lead over Joey Gallo, who's hitting 500, even though you know, he's only got five at-bats. Adalberto Mondesi had his breakout game uh, last episode, now hitting over 300, and he's leading the team in nine RBIs, dude. He had seven RBIs in the last game. He started leading the team after one game. That's crazy. He also got his OPS over 1,100. So Mondesi, just an absolute beast. I hope he can continue that hot streak. Anyway, we took a look at the stats. We upgraded our players. I told you guys the like goal is at 3,500 likes. I don't think there's too much more for us to go over right here in the beginning beginning of the video Mike Trout Angel in the outfield on the no money spent account the jerseys are gonna look a little bit different but it's gonna be the same team let's go ahead and jump into a game and see if maybe Mike Trout can turn it around today all right well we're gonna be on the road we're facing the Hawaii Meths okay we're taking on Nolan Ryan he's got the full signature squad with Ken Griffey Jr. out there Jason Kendall at catcher we did land on Steven Matz so we get to use a gold right off the rip um, in his first appearance, so that's nice. But Nolan Ryan on the mound is going to be tough. Oh, that was a weird pitch on two strikes. It was a high curveball, like in the top part of the zone. That was kind of weird. All right, but D. Gordon does nothing in his uh, debut at bat. Mondesi trying to pick up right where he left off. Get over his head. Dang it. Man, I hit that ball on the nose. That sucks. Chris Davis, and another line out. Come on, man. So I've never used this Steven Matz card, but we'll find out just what he's all about today. There we go, jammed him with the sinker. First at bat of the game, not bad for Steven Matz. And the fact that he's an 84 overall gold, he's only one point off of being a diamond. So this is actually a really nice card to have. Oh, dude, Mondesi, you could have easily had that. Keep going. Let's try the curveball on Griffey with two strikes. Wow, he was way out in front of that one. Jesus. Yo, that curveball's disgusting. <laughs> I'm loving this Steven Matz card. Oh, I missed that. That's on me. Yep, that was a fastball inside. I kept it right over the middle. Justin Smoke, come on, man. Something can get down, man. Why can't I get anything to fall in the outfield, bro? This is tough. There we go. That one's not coming back. Gary Sanchez. Woo, that was a hanger right over the middle. Was that a curveball or a changeup? That was a circle change that straight up just stayed middle, middle. Gary Sanchez waited back on it and crushed it. Did not miss his opportunity. Good stuff. We'll count to Pedro with Mike Trout on deck. Let's see. That was a great pitch. That was a fantastic spot with two strikes. Give him that one. Mike Trout will lead off the third. Oh, that's a good hit. Yeah, one out in the second, and he hit that thing right into the shift, but through the little hole. All right, uh, double play, McCutcheon's up. He's a tough out for a lefty. Yep, McCutcheon's a good hitter. All right, we've got first and second with one down. We're still only a double play away from getting out of this. That is, I hope we can at least get one out of this. 78 speed, okay, nice play, Pedro Alvarez. I believe the pitcher spot is up, which is the guy we want to face. And he flies out to center. Good job. Steven Matz got in a little bit of trouble, but worked himself out of it. Now Mike Trout comes up to lead off. All right, Trout, let's go. Ah, oh, that was a bad swing. Come on, get in the seats, get in the seats, get in the seats. Thank you. All right, we're down to two strikes now with Trout, which is not good. I've been late on both fastballs. That is a circle change away. Tough take, but we've got it full. 3-2. Where is he? He's probably going to go to a fastball or a sinker, I would assume. Ball four. Tough take, but Mike Trout gets on base. A base runner is a base runner. I'm just going to try to bunt him over to second base. He should be in there pretty easily. Let's go. He threw to second. Bad move. Oh, D. Gordon to dead center field. I'm not going to run on Griffey. No, Mondesi. Oh, that is just a killer. 
Should be an easy enough play. Little jump throw, not much of an arm, but the defense is good. Not the best pitch with two strikes, but you know, we made it happen. Ah. Bad pitch. Oh my. Dude. Oh. Oh, that should have been strike three on the sinker before that pitch. He's going to second. Does he not realize it? I got to get him. I'll get him. There we go. That ball was crushed. Honestly, that was hit so hard, but Modesty has a nice glove. Nice sinker, dude. I'm liking this Matt's card. There we go, fly ball to center. Finally, that was a tough at bat for McCutcheon. He really made me work for that. All right, we got the fifth inning. Pedro Alvarez, Mike Trout, and then the pitcher spot. So I need, I need some more offense right now, man. I've gotten, how many hits do we have? I don't even know. I think we have like one or two. That ball, not, not really what I wanted. Frank Thomas, the gold glover over there. Common fielding, yeah, right. All right, here's Trout. He's got a walk in this game, so the on-base downgrade is out of this game, which is good, so the only way he can really get downgrade. Hit by the pitch, so that's an upgrade. He's on base twice. Dude, he just hit Steven. What is going on? He is it back-to-back -back guys. D. Gordon to the right side. We've got the bases loaded. There we go. All right, uh, Mondesi coming up with the bases juiced. After the last game, this may be the guy we want right now. Mondesi to left center field. That's going to score a run no matter what. That is pretty. That is a pretty deep fly ball, too. All right, 83 speed. Mike Trout is in there. Mondesi with a sack fly. 3-2, full count, two outs. Everybody's on the move. Here we go. Down the line. Come on, come on, 95 speed, 95 speed. What's what's going on in left field? What's going on in left field? Why is he not doing anything? What just happened? Why is he, did he just stop playing? Uh, well, okay. I, I, I guess that's a win. Okay, well that was, that was weird. <laughs> I, that's a pretty early like quit for somebody like it was in the fifth inning like You have plenty. I have a gold pitcher on the mound with a pretty much all silver bullpen like you got plenty of time So I don't know that's kind of weird, but I'll take it. All right, so we won the game, which is cool That's an upgrade um, Mike Trout got on base two or more times. He didn't even get technically an at-bat uh, but you know he got a walk and then he got hit by a pitch so he got on base twice so it works out so All right, I'll take it. I know a lot of you are probably like oh a rage quit should count as an upgrade I just don't really like like adding more and more and more and more and more upgrades just because like I, I don't want to make it too easy I do want there to be a challenge in getting the upgrades and spacing it out between videos and stuff The only thing I will say for a rage quit is it does kind of suck uh, kind of getting me out of a situation where I could earn an upgrade by scoring six or more runs just because I can't finish the game. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. But yeah, we'll just take our two upgrades. 3,500 likes for the third upgrade down in the comments. Let me know which players you think we should upgrade to. The entire left side of the field needs to be upgraded over here. Chris Davis, Mondesi, and Pedro Alvarez. Over in the rotation, we still have four silvers and uh, six silvers. So 10 more pitchers to upgrade and three more hitters so down in the comments let me know who you want to see upgraded like the video for the 3500 like goal uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more episodes of angel in the outfield i would like to play like another game but i have to do it on a game by game basis so that way you guys can upgrade the team as you see fit so sorry it was a little bit of a shorter game but it's just kind of the way the series works so anyway thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one peace